for uh, etching uh, in intaglio, there's um, different methods and techniques for creating the plates. Uh, for the workshop we did with the museum, uh, we were using plexiglass plates uh, just because they're inexpensive and easy to work with. And um, we were doing a technique called dry point where you actually are just simply scribing marks into the plexiglass to create the image that will print. Create an area that's quite dark and black. I need to sit here and go ahead and start doing some cross hatching where I'm building up a network of lines, a dense network of lines that will create a nice rich black area. Once the image has been drawn into the plexiglass, uh, the, uh, the plate is inked. So ink is actually rubbed into the entire plate, so it's worked into all the different lines that have been inscribed into the plate. It's hard here. And let's go ahead and drag it across the plate. And then using a starched uh, cheesecloth, you actually then wipe the surface of the plate so all the uh, excess ink is removed from the surface of the plate. And what remains is all the ink that's collected in the lines that have been scribed into the plate. This is the press we're going to be uh, using tonight. Then uh, the plate's placed on the press bed. A sheet of dampened paper is laid over it. And it's run through the press with a couple of felt blankets that go over it to help force that paper down into the plate pick up every uh, bit of ink that's uh, on the surface of the plate there. It's uh, remarkable just how much uh, detailed information uh, you can get from either the piece of plexiglass or the copper. Making uh, has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years uh, and despite uh, different uh, trends in the arts uh, and different, uh, 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 I guess, uh, popularities and uh, different medium and so on. Um, Printmaking is actually at a really great point right now. Uh, very, I'd say very popular.